What up guys, Harry Wilmington here, and welcome to another exciting edition of Couch Chat. So, I'm out here in Hollyweird, and sometimes I try for things. Uh, some of you guys have mentioned in the comments that you may have seen me on some ads that have circulated around TikTok or Facebook for a variety of different things. The truth is, when I'm not doing this stuff and I'm not doing video stuff for other people, I also like to occasionally audition for things, whether they're like little commercials here or there or background extra parts, because I'm in Hollywood. It's what you do, you know? But I was thinking about this today because I was actually on uh, a site right now trying to look up auditions for things, right? Is that I early on when I was doing this kind of stuff, because I, I was a theater major, so, uh, but even as back far back then, there would be times when there would be calls for people to trap for certain parts, right? And going into it, initially, there were things that I would not try out for because I would look at like what the description is, whether it be an acting part, a voiceover part, whatever. And I think to myself, no, 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 I don't think I have the right look or I don't think I have the voice that they want. And so I'm not even going to try. And then at some point down the line, I started thinking, but what if I just tried out? Like the worst thing that can happen is I try out and I don't get a call back. Like here in Hollywood, it's just like you try for something and if they want you, they'll call you. If they don't, they'll say, if we don't call you, it means nothing against you. It just means that there was another candidate that worked a lot better. And so I found that if I went in with that mentality of like the worst that can happen is they're going to say no or not even to my face. They'll just not contact me anymore. Then that's not a bad thing because it'd be worse to get like punched in the face, you know? So there were some things that I started trying out for, for voiceovers and for uh, front of the screen stuff that I ended up getting. And I thought to myself, how awful would it have been if I had never tried out for that thing in the first place? I wouldn't have got that opportunity. I wouldn't have got on set for that thing. I wouldn't have gotten the money that came with it. And so as I think more and more about this, as I was doing this today, I was like, you know what? That is the exact same way that it is for dating. Because think about this, as a guy, right? We really are pushed that we need to get used to rejection. Heck, I pushed that. And I believe it's actually beneficial for you to be able to ultimately get the results you want. But it still hurts and it's still a very, uh, it's, it's one of those things that if you haven't experienced it, it can you can have a lot of fear behind what that's gonna feel like and what that's gonna do to you if you don't get your way, right? And so there are women out there, how many, how many of you guys have experienced this? You see a woman across the bar, you see her at a party, you see her walking around town somewhere and you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna approach her. And then the doubts come in, but she's probably got a boyfriend or I'm too short, too tall, too skinny, too big. Uh, I don't have all my finances together. I maybe have too much money, et cetera, et cetera. And it all results in basically saying, I don't think that I'm going to ultimately be her type. And so therefore, I'm not even going to try. That's akin to me saying, well, I'm reading they need a voiceover that's sturdy and I don't think I have the sturdiest voice, so I'm not going to try out and never auditioning in the first place versus saying, you know what? I'm going to approach this thing. I'm going to give it my all. And if at the end of the day, she decides not to choose me, hey, the worst thing that can happen is she'll walk away or she'll give me a number. When I call her, it'll be the wrong number, but I'll never hear from her again. But the best result could be you end up with somebody that ends up being the love of your life. But it all starts with having to try. You have to get off your butt get away from the computer, go out into the real world and start actually trying to talk to women. Because if you don't do that, you're going to end up alone. And some guys are like, hey, I'm cool being alone. I'll go my own way. I don't want to deal with the drama. But also, I secretly know that as, as one of those guys that used to say that stuff myself, I secretly still wanted it to work out. And I still wanted to be able to have a girlfriend. And I still wanted to be able to figure out the ins and outs of how attraction works and how women work. But more importantly, I wanted to not be so anxious in terms of even stepping out there in the first place. And a lot of you guys are just apprehensive about going after the women that you really want and actually going out there and talking to them and introducing yourself and trying to see if you can get a phone number, see if you can get a date, see if you can get a hookup, see if you can get a makeout session. Like you don't get the women that you don't try for. And so the reality is as a guy, you're gonna approach quite a few women and a lot of them are gonna say no, but at least you tried and at least you have the knowledge that this one didn't actually wanna go out with you. But you never trying, you never auditioning yourself out there for other women is gonna leave you lonely. So I say this to say, take a shot. Like the, the interesting thing is, I think as men, we think that 
women we're coming up against have a specific ideal of a guy that they want. And if we don't match that 100%, they're not going to take us in. I got news for you. Women have the same fear of, of not feeling that they're going to be enough or worthy of a relationship with a really great guy. We're all out here trying to display confidence and yet being nervous that other people that we want to get with are going to like not want to be around us also. But I can assure you the things in your head that you think most women want as reasons as to why they won't date you more often than not aren't even there. Like even the, I, the example I give is like dudes that are like five, six or five, seven. Oh, I'm too short. This woman's not going to want me because she's five, nine. I know plenty of women who are like five, 10, five, 11 that have, da- that have dated and married like five, six, five, five dudes. All right. Uh, guys that think that they're too big. I know plenty of big dudes that get model women. Okay. But they go in thinking, well, this is what I got. I'm going to go in with what I got and inevitably somebody's going to like it. So don't put yourself down so much. You are your biggest blocker right now. And I need you not to be. I need you when you next time you're at a party and you see a woman across the way to just walk up and start a conversation. I need you if you're on online dating to not be like, oh, I don't want to swipe right on her because she's not going to swipe right on me. You'd be surprised at women that would actually date you if you would just be willing to swipe right on them first. Like there's so many possibilities out there of women that will date you. But if you're not auditioning for it, you're not going to get the results you want. That's all I'm saying. So hopefully, guys, this helps you out. As always, I'll be back with more of these wonderful videos. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.